Summer is almost here, and what better way to celebrate than by celebrating the longest day of our year, Letha. Letha is all about celebrating the sun and the summer and the sunshine. It's the time of the year where the crops are most fruitful, and it's a time for growth, prosperity, abundance, and renewal. People celebrate Letha in many ways. You could craft spells or herb kits with in-season and natural ingredients like calendula or chamomile. You could make a herbal tea, you could bake, or you can even set up your altar to worship your favourite sun god. For me personally, I like to decorate my home on any given occasion, such as Yuletide or Astara. And I thought of a really nice, simple, and honestly very cheap way of doing this. And hopefully you'll get some inspiration from it too. I've decided to make a sun garland using just two ingredients, jute rope and orange slices. Thankfully I already had some jute rope lying around in my garden basket, but it's pretty cheap anyway, you can get them from most supermarkets or garden centres. And I suppose any string will do really, anything you have lying around. I just decided to use jute because it's natural and biodegradable. I've also decided to use orange slices and decorate my garland, mainly because for me it represents the sun and the warmth and the sunshine. Some people like to associate oranges with creativity, abundance and success, and some witches like to make an orange oil to cleanse their altars as they believe it has energising effects. Right, let's make the summer garland together. You will need some jute rope, or any string will do and cut it to your desired length. I used about a metre and a half for mine. You will also need some fruit. I used about three oranges, um, but you can use any fruit, lemons, grapefruits, apples even if you want to. The tools you will need are some scissors, a sharp knife and a chopping board. And that's it. I started cutting my oranges into slices, thinly enough so they remained strong once dried, but not too thick at the same time. I think mine were between maybe one and two centimetres thick. And don't worry about messing up at this stage, because if you do cut any too thin, you can just eat them. There's no waste here. You will then need to dry your orange slices. Now, I put mine on a wire rack and on top of a baking tray inside my oven, and I cooked for about three hours at about 140 degrees. The trick here is to cook on as low setting as possible because you don't want to burn them. If you can't afford to do that or you don't have an oven, you can dry them outside. Just bear in mind that you need to watch out for any bugs that might be attracted to them. So you can just stick them on a wire rack and maybe cover them with a plastic tub or something. Now your fruit doesn't need to be bone dry, but it's important that they are as moisture free as possible because you don't want them to go moulding over time. Mine were dry but slightly sticky, I think that's okay. Now to put it all together, you will need to cut your string to your desired length, maybe a bit longer in case you start to run out of room, and I tied a loop at the end of mine, quite a big loop so I could hang it in, well, wherever I wish to hang it, and then begin threading each slice onto the string. Just be careful during this point because you don't want to damage the fruit. So just go very slowly. I poked a hole in mine with the end of my scissors and just slowly threaded it through. I also tied a knot at the end of each slice because I didn't want them to slide along the string. As I say, you can use any fruit for this task, just whatever's available to you at the time. And as you are doing this slowly, just be mindful and just really think about what Letha and the summer solstice means to you. When you are finished threading all of your slices, tie another loop at the end and you are done. Feel free to hang this decoration wherever you fancy. I put mine outside on one of my apple trees to bless them and thank them for giving me fruit last year. A word of warning however, don't leave your garlands outside in the rain because I found this out the hard way. They actually rehydrate and all of my orange slices fell off. If you fancy having another go at making a different kind of decoration and you just so happen to have a branch fair, I chopped mine off my apple tree because it needed trimming and I tied slices at random lengths to the branch and made a little hanging chime which I thought was really sweet, just like a little extra something. And there you have it, two very cheap decorations for Letha. How are you celebrating the summer solstice? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you there.